Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 2 of Darwell20's Let's Play of the Darwell20 Mod Pack 1.20, yay! I'm gonna jump in today and stop hitting my head. I said I was gonna do that, and I'm gonna do that. Um, between episodes, I did a little bit. Uh, I, I made myself the pocket storage that I said I was gonna make. Now, it holds up to 255 of each item, so anything extra that you put in there beyond that is gonna be voided. But that's not a big deal. Uh, I also made myself a diamond hammer just because, you know, I found diamonds last episode and not about like seven of them. Not bad at all. Uh, so with that said, I decided, you know what, let's uh, let's make ourselves a nice fancy hammer. I'm going to do a little bit of mining. Uh, generally speaking, for those of you who have not seen my series before, I don't do a lot of mining on camera. Uh, usually the first episode or two, I'll do some on camera mining. And then when I get like a really cool mining tool, like the mining gadget or a new hammer or something, I might jump in and, and show you myself using it. Uh, but generally speaking, I like to do most of my mining off camera just because I feel like it, it keeps it a little bit more interesting, right? Like it's it can be it can be a little bit boring to watch somebody mine uh but considering there's not a lot to do in the first couple episodes besides get some resources and get up and going with mining you know that's that's what i tend to do you know just the first episode or two just to be like look i do mine i don't cheat in a bunch of resources between episodes uh generally speaking i don't cheat unless i'll tell you if i had to cheat usually it's because i ran into a bug or some kind of issue and i had to cheat things into to resolve said bug or issue but generally speaking i try not to cheat uh so not a not a big concern there oh man i'm loving this already look at this look at this episode one and two i'm already like hammer mining it's so good it's so cool right uh, so with that said, let's talk more about what mods are in the pack, because uh, last episode we talked a lot about the mods that are available here. Today we're going to talk about some more. So the, the luggage mod is in the pack. That's a fun one. It's like a little little dude who follows you around. It's like an entity with uh, inventory storage. He'll follow you around and he can be like your, uh, your inventory. Oh, I'll snag that redstone, please. Thank you. Should I mine at this level or should I go like up one or two levels? For now, I'll do it this level, and then we'll see. What's that? Silver from Occultism. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to want the mining laser, but also this Hammers mod has a 5x5 five five area. I really need to add a 5x5 five five to the mining laser, don't I? Like, I think I think that's another, like, all the mining mods have a 5x5. Five five. I should really just let mining gadgets have a 5x5 five five as well. What do you guys think? Tell me. Tell me in, in them their comments what you think. How did I get a brick? Uh, was there like a randonium or something like that? I don't know if that was in here, but maybe. Could be. Um, so we've got, uh, let's see, light overlay is in there. Um, we've got uh, Macaws, I think it's called. Yeah, this guy. Macaws. Macaws bridges and doors and a couple of the other ones. Um, so that's pretty nifty. Excited that that's a thing going on. Uh, again, more of a decorative mod than anything else. Ooh, is that gold? I wanted gold. You know why I wanted gold? Because I need gold to upgrade my pocket storage. Yeah. And that'll get that'll get pocket storage up to a much better place. So right now, a few more diamonds and some more gold would be nice to have. Uh, and then I'd also like to today... I'm curious if I can do this this quickly. I usually try to, like, beeline to ore processing. Do we think we can ore process in today's episode? Because that would be super cool. If I wanted to get a sag mill from Ender.io, how hard would that be? We'd need some dark steel, which needs alloy smelting of obsidian and coal dust. Um, and coal dust we can get how? There must be a way to get coal dust without a sag mill, right? Maybe. Void chassis, huh? Grains of infinity. Oh, I remember you. Don't you like flint and steel? on bedrock has a chance to make that stuff is that how it works hold some flint in your offhand and some deep slate or cobbled deep slate in your man hand and then shift right click a block of obsidian crying obsidian grinds and produce early grains of infinity cool or or fire crafting like that that's a nifty way to do it too okay um and then we need some some infinity grains a piston the void chassis, but it's the dark steel that has me a little concerned because how would I get coal dust without a sag mill? Primitive alloy smelting. Um, ooh. Okay, grains of infinity. <clears throat> uh, so we could add that to our to-do list there, but then how would I get uh, coal dust? I mean, there's other mods that do it. 
But interestingly, I don't see a way with Ender. I, I figured to myself, like, we always do, like, different mods to start with ore processing. It might be cool to get a sag mill from Ender IO, and that could be our, like, first smelter. Maybe. Maybe. That could be cool. That could be cool. Uh, we'll have to come up with a good way to do it. And will that actually, like, ore process for us? Let's see how that works. So ore processing with the sag mill. What do you do with things like raw copper? You will make copper dust. But that only seems to be one to one. And then that iron dust, can I smelt that with alloy smelting? That also seems to only be one to one. So maybe that's something we have to fix as well. Let me take note of that. Yeah, so what I notice is if you do this, you get bonus, but not from this guy, which is it should be. So again, you know, there's, there's bugs. This is why we're this is why we test the pack. This is why I'm recording a little bit early so I can find little bugs like that that we can get sorted before release. Um, so no big deal, no big deal. Though I would wager by the time you're watching this video, the pack should be publicly available and that would probably be fixed by then. Cool, yep, good deal. Uh, so where were we on mods? Uh, so we said mechanism is in the pack, that's cool. Mega cells also in the pack. Um, MMFS is in here, MFFS, the, the modular force field system is in the pack. Uh, that should be fun to play with. I definitely want to toy with that and monkey with it a little bit because that I remember being a fun mod. And that I haven't seen in like years, right? Like has MMFF, MFFS been around at all? I don't even know. Uh, mining gadgets, of course. Uh, all the gadgets mods because, because dire. Because my pack, we're going to have mining gadgets in there. Cool mining lasers and stuff. We'll get to that. I might wind up going mining lasers. I might not. We'll see. Uh, it would it would be nice uh, to do so we'll see for sure probably not a bad idea I should I should update mining lasers and add some cool some cool stuff to it especially since I've done so much with building gadgets lately mining gadgets could use a little uh, fanciness pass to it so how are we doing are we we are we are absorbing all this stuff right into here so that's cool I'm gonna add this dark stone from forbidden and Arcanus. That should be a good thing to add to the uh, to the auto voider thing. That looks good. Mob grinding utils for your mob farming needs. Um, let's see, mod nomicon is in here, so you don't have to carry around a million books in your inventory. That's a good one. Ooh, deep slate lead ore. I'll hold off on that. I don't think we need lead just yet. I'm mostly after iron, gold, diamond, like the basics, right? So we can kind of get things up and running. Because I would also like to, if I can, uh, start generating some basic power. Uh, and, and, and a few other things. I want to get a house built today if I can, maybe. Definitely ore processing. If not, if not a house, definitely ore processing if I can. Uh, let's see, more red is a cool looking. Modular routers is in here too. Oh, and modular golems. Modular force field system, modular golems, and modular routers. So check this mod out. I have no idea what this is about, but it's called modular golems and it looks super cool. Um, like super cool. I have no idea what it does, what the golems can do, um, but it, I mean, it looks cool, right? It looks neat. Uh, there's some damage, repeated potion upgrade. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't know nothing about this mod. I hope it has a book. It does, Modular Golem God. Sweet, that's cool. We should check out Modular Golems at some point. In my mind, I'm wondering if they're like golems from Thalmcraft type deal, but I have no idea, no clue. Uh, but modular routers is definitely in the pack. Um, let's see. Um, more red looks cool. Looks like a, a redstone, red alloy wire type type mod. Pretty cool. You know, I always like to. I'm not good with vanilla redstone, so I'm happy when there's a when there's a redstone thing in there. Uh, what other ones we got? Nature's Aura, uh, standard magic mod that we always like to have in the pack. Uh, Occultism is another fun one. Another fun magic mod. A fan of that for sure. How are we doing inventory wise? Not bad actually. Not too shabby. Um, pedestals uh, is in the pack. Patchouli obviously for the books and whatnot. See. Look at this. Clearing it up. Uh, let's see. Pipes for your item transfer needs. If you don't use laser IO or one of the other pipe mods, Ender IO has their pipes though too for sure. Uh, Ender.io item transfer pipes and all the conduits from Ender.io look like they're here. So that's pretty cool. Even ME conduits are implemented. Awesome. Fluid, pressurized fluid, Ender fluid, redstone. Yeah, all of these are here. That's cool. But yeah, pipes is also in the pack. Um, 
player plates, Pneumaticraft. Uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of Pneumaticraft, especially the drones. Like, Pneumaticraft is cool all around, but, like, the drones are my favorite part of Pneumaticraft. Uh, pocket storage, as you can see, we already made one of those. Um... Let's see what else we got. Productive bees. I, 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 I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to have a mod in the pack that let you basically get unlimited resources kind of for free. Uh, but then it, it occurred to me that like, you know, industrial foregoing has basically free unlimited resources. Mechanism kind of has free unlimited resources if you count the digital miner, which I do. Um, so there's a lot of mods that give you like some semblance of like eventually once you get up and running, you can have almost unlimited resources. So why not? Plus these, these are fun. Can't go wrong. How am I doing on this durability? Not bad at all. Sweet, more iron. I really wanted more diamonds by now, but eh, I'll take it. And again, this is probably one of the few times you'll find me mining on camera. Um, so no biggie. No biggie. So where are we on the list? Uh, we talked about these rail railcraft. We mentioned that last episode, railcraft. Somebody got permission or whatever to get railcraft out there. So railcraft is back, which is super cool. Am I out of torches? That's a bummer. I don't want to be out of torches right now. I want you guys to not be able to see all the fun mining that I'm doing. Uh, let's see, rain shield, because that's a thing Dyer likes to have. Just a, a single, singular rain shield mod that it just adds the rain shield. Huge fan, uh, just because. More redstone, not too shabby. All right, we're just going to have to suffer through darkness for a little bit. Although I feel like I'm probably getting done with my mining adventure. I would like to, if I can, have a little bit more diamonds. I might do that off camera for a few minutes here. Uh, but let's knock through the list of, of mods that are in the pack still. Ranged pumps. Rats. Rats is back. Remember rats? Remember the, the funny rat mod? Yeah. Rats is back. And Ratlantis. So you can go to Ratlantis and get all the, the overpowered rats and the bosses and all that stuff. Remember that mod? Um, and I'm very curious to see how it is because I, I think somebody new is maintaining it now. Um, and, and rats was really cool in concept, but was always a little bit derpy. Uh, there were definitely some, some wonky bugginess features to it. Uh, I'm excited to see uh, how it behaves nowadays. You know what I could do? I could, I could do this and this. And that might not be a bad, bad way to go. Um... So rats is in the pack. Uh, reborn storage and refined storage, obviously. Rechiseled is in the pack, which is like a which is like a chiseled mod. Uh, so yeah, all all kinds of decorative blocks, which I'll probably use because I try. That's that's like the best that I can I can I can handle is having something like that. Um, so that should be good. Uh, refined storage, like we mentioned, refined cooking, uh, RF tools and all their stuff. So like RF tools dimensions and, and all the standard RF tools mods are in the pack, which is a great one. Uh, always a, always a, a staple of any pack that I like to have. Uh, what else we got here? Um, I'm just, I'm just pulling out the big ones. Uh, there's a simple magnet, simple sponge, simple graves. Uh, let's see. Solar flux we talked about having. Sophisticated backpacks is in the pack. So yeah, backpacks will be a thing that we'll get into at some point soon. Absolutely. And then how about bada bing, bada boom. A few more torches so at least you guys can see a little bit of what I'm doing here. Ah, much better. Now I can see again. Uh, soul shards is in the pack. Uh, that's a fun one. I think that lets you do like some, some mob spawning type stuff right um structure compass makes it easier to find structures in the world uh let's see temp pads is in the pack i like that one just because it's a cool cool way to, to teleport around uh not a big deal uh let's see tesseract we mentioned being in the pack the one probe Ooh, time in the bottles here you know that's you know that's that's a thing dyer would not we wouldn't have released the pack if this wasn't ready Right, and it looks like time in a bottle can even go into a curio slot now, and there's like a there's like a, a hotkey you can use to activate it, which is kind of neat, kind of neat, right? Any more diamonds? Come on, friends, where's my diamonds at? Um, you know, I guess it would be smart to be like one more level higher, maybe, but meh. Inventory still okay? Yeah. Uh, oh, there's diamonds. Speak of the devil. Did I just get eight of them? Awesome. I love when I get an eight diamond vein. I love that. Super cool. 
Uh, so let's see, Tome of Blood is a cool one. Uh, what that is, I think it is a mod that interacts between Blood Magic and Ars Nouveau and lets you cast Ars Nouveau spells with your Blood Magic LP. That's kind of cool. Uh, and it looks like it adds a, a glyph that I assume will, you know, do something. Oh, Demonic Will will improve your damage output. That's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, and then some kind of some kind of armor that is like a combination of living armor. Oh, out of speaking of diamonds, we're out of uh, we're out of stuff there. Should I do an iron hammer? I'm just gonna just make another. Eh, I'm gonna hold off. I think is that enough mining? Or should I do? I could I could just pop this down and do one more uh, iron hammer. It might not be a bad idea. There we go. And you. And you. Sweet. All right, uh, where are we at? Time in the bottle, we said, Temple of Blood. Torchmaster, which is the one that adds like the Feral Flare Lantern and all that stuff, because absolutely one of my favorites. You know, I use that thing all the time. Uh, let's see, trash cans are in the pack. Uh, travel anchors, kind of funny because there's now two travel anchors. One from the travel anchors mod, which is a mod that came out because Ender.io wasn't around anymore. And then Ender.io's travel anchor does exist. Now, Ender.io's Travel Anchor requires some Ender.io progression, whereas the Travel Anchor's one does not. So I guess, you know, we basically decided, you know what, leave it in the pack. It's not hurting anything. And, you know, that way if people decide they don't want to get into Ender.io, but they do want to... What is with all this junk? There must be the Randonium or whatever. Um, then they can, you know, still take advantage of Travel Anchors without having to delve into Ender.io. Cool. Um, Tropicraft is in the pack. Remember Tropicraft? Gives you the whole tropical dimension. Yeah, Tropicraft is a cool one. So that one's definitely in the pack if you wanna to jump to a more peaceful, relaxing dimension to hang out in. Uh, we'll definitely check that out for sure, along with the Aether and the other dimensions that are back now. I told you there were some like really, you know, classic mods that are around these days that I haven't seen in a while. Uh, so Tropicraft is in. Uh, we've also got Twilight Forest. Speaking of dimensional exploration uh, and progression, Twilight Forest always a fun one. It's it's such a such a staple mod. I wish more mods like Twilight Forest existed that like have like a self-contained adventure like that. Like you can completely ignore the mod entirely if you want, or you can go like on this whole progression adventure, beating bosses and exploring. Like it's such a cool mod. I wish there were more mods like that. Is all I'll say. Uh, so Twilight Forest is a really, really good one. It's been around forever, too. Uh, what else we got? Waystones are in the pack. Wireless Chargers. Wormhole is like that uh, that portals mod. Let you let, let you create some portals. Uh, we'll probably check that out. Xnet is in the pack. Zycraft is in the pack. And I think that's the main the main content mods. Yeah, we, we knocked them all out. Look at that. Zycraft. Uh, and Zycraft Machines, which I know... Um, is it, it adds some stuff. So I'm pretty sure the, the multi-block tank thing is in there. Um, and there's a bunch of other, you know, nifty machines that we'll have to look into. I'm not sure uh, how any of them work. Soren told me that books are not fun. So I doubt he has a book that explains how his blocks work, but we'll figure it out. Deal? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. That's enough mining on camera for me for a little while. I'm going to complete this mining. I'm gonna probably mine for a little bit more off camera just to see if I can collect some more diamonds like that. Hello, diamonds. Not as good of a diamond vein as I wanted, but at least it gave me the three I used for the sample, so that's nifty. Okay, and then we'll come back in a few minutes and we'll look at maybe getting ore processing up early if we can and probably a house. Cool, so I'll be back in just a few. Uh, now that we've talked about all the mods in the pack and all the other cool stuff that we're going to do. Well, I'm having fun killing Enderman, hopefully. Did I break my pick? Do you have a nice sword for me, Mr. Zombie? Kind of? Ooh, another Enderman. Sweet. I just need some more armor. What is this thing? Uh, graceful zombie arm. Okay, that's a thing. Uh, totally set up more, uh, more stuff, like, storage-wise here. Um, so that shouldn't be a problem. You go in there. I should probably make a better sword now that I can. I've been smelting up resources because I decided I don't need to jump too quickly into aura processing. Um, yeah, fighting, fighting, fighting an enderman at this point would not be good with three hearts, would it? It would not, it would not be what I would call smart at this point with no armor and three hearts. But... 
Benjamin. Don't come down. If I hide under these leaves. Ha! Got you. No end of all. Cheating. Should have given me an end of all. Does this do something? Oh, it does. It feels nice. Sweet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Totally want Ender Pearls for reasons. Uh, I decided instead of instead of gunning for ore processing, uh, which would be cool. Don't get me wrong, but it, 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 I don't think I have. Uh, I don't. I don't think it'll be easy. Easier said than done, at the very least. Yoinks. Yoinks. Probably get some armor too if I'm gonna be hunting mobs so much. But armor and food for that matter, because I have literally no food at this point. There's a couple of pigs over here, I know that much. There's some skeletons in the way though. Yeah, shoot each other. Shoot each other. Ow. Food. I should I should probably also like. You know what? I can do this. Well, I'm over here. Get a little wheat farm going. Wouldn't be a terrible idea either. I can't believe we're on Minecraft version 1.20 and we still decide that we want to break flowers rather than hit entities with a sword. Like... I thought that was fixed at some point, but I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't see it being fixed. They're like, oh, you're swinging a sword at uh, grass and an entity. I assume you want to hit the grass, right? No, no, I do not. No, I do not mod pack. No, I do not vanilla Minecraft. I'm not sure who's at fault, but I'm assuming vanilla. Uh, all right, cool. So got some stuff here. So yeah, what I said is I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is work towards making a mining laser uh, and get looting on it so that we can do better, right? So if we got fortune, that could be kind of cool. Now we're going to need some diamonds and we're also going to need uh, a charging gadget, but this will be a good way to get some early game ore doubling because remember now, um, if we get uh, fortune, that works for like raw iron and stuff, right? And which is the reason that you don't ore double anymore. So let's do that right now-ish. So I've got iron, I've got gold, I've got redstone, I've got lapis. We should be cool to maybe get a mining gadget going on. So let's take a look at that. Oh, we're also going to need glass. That's something we need for mining gadgets, right? So if we want to take a look at mining gadgets, because uh, it's been a while since I've mined with lasers. Yeah, we definitely need some glass. Uh, so that's a thing. Diamonds, glass, redstone, iron, gold, all that stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go... I would like another Ender Pearl, uh, cause that's gonna be nice too. Hooray, did something. How'd you get this? How did I get this? Retrieve an affix from a random monster. Ooh, what did I get? Blessed leather cap, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, is there any sand nearby? I do see something that looks like sand. Trying to avoid the mobs, but also trying to uh, find some endermen. So just a little glass should be sufficient, right? Not too shabby. I don't need a ton, but since I'm here, I might as well get a few. Is that enough? That should be enough. All right, and then we'll run home and see if we encounter any Endermen on the way. See any? Oh, there's one. Shh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Endermans. Oh, see that's that's where that's where the that's where the that's where the dirt thing would come in handy. I want to show you that. Got him, got him, got him, and I got an pearl for it. Woot. Enderpearls are what's up. 
wheat. And a little bit more food would not go awry. Sorry, piggies. Excellent. Yeah, I want to show you this dirt mod because it's super cool. I tried to back away. See, again, the grass got me. If if I had hit him instead of the grass, it would have pushed him further away from me and 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 deprimed him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's that's been a complaint of mine every every series since the combat update. I want to say, uh, and it's a legit complaint. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, now uh, some more fuel would not go awry here. For sure. Wouldn't be terrible. Um, I think I'm just going to do eight glass for now. Only because I really don't think I need that much. Um, I only need really six-ish. And yeah, yeah, wasting coal for not cooking for... Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Uh, where's that dirt ball? Or, or the hole filler, it's called, right? Hole filler. Uh, clay will get it for me, or slime balls. Uh, and for dirt. Let's see if there's any clay nearby. Because I really want to show you... This mod is cool, and I want to see if I can show it to you uh, in this episode. Because I have always found it annoying to fill in holes from Endermen. And, or from uh, from Creepers. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed by this mod. It looks really neat. Is there any clay in this lake? I think I see some. This is clay over here, right? Yep, yep, yep. I can get one more. Hooray! Alright, to home we go. No more Endermen, sadly. And I've been racking my brain trying to think about, like, what I could use for, like, running faster. Because I don't think Batania's been released yet. So Batania, you might have noticed, was not in the mod pack list. Um, at, I mean, once it's released, I will absolutely be adding it to the pack. No, no worries there. But just, you know, note that it's not out yet. So, you know, that's a thing. So let's get a few pieces of dirt. Actually, I'll get all eight. And then I'll make the, the hole filler, which is this. This thing's cool. You ready for this? Check this out. This is neat. Here we go. Bing, bang, boom. Oh, how cool was that? How cool was that? Right? Boom. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Very neat. Uh, and then I guess while we're at it, we should we should get the wheat seeds growing. Uh, let's let's real quick because if I don't have food that's like renewable soon, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Uh, so let's do that if we can. Uh, just over here, uh, there's a lot of seeds apparently. Break a bunch of tall grass real fast. I don't know what half these seeds are, but we'll we'll find out together. We'll explore and figure it out. Okay, so you're gonna go there. Oh, hello, ants. Ants ants are popping up. They do not like me. Oh my goodness. I think those are fire ants. Would that be fire ants? I wonder if there's different kinds of ants. That's kind of cool. Oh my goodness, more ants. That's cool. I like that. I really, I really want to, I'm, I don't think there's an ant hill nearby. So I'm wondering if just like whenever you till grass, there's a chance to like find an ant. I guess that's possible, right? The chance is not low. I will, I will put that out there. The chance is not low. <laughs> it seems like it might be a little... Oh boy, more soldiers, more soldiers running away now. Oh, they got me. Oh, they got me. Would you like to op... Would you like to use grades in the future? Yeah, enable graves. I saw that when I was doing my testing or something. Yes, far more common than I would maybe accept. 
Well, there we go. Right click to collect. Oh, good. And it gives me everything back in. The... It doesn't put my armor back on though. Boo. I like I like when the mods do that. Okay, that should be good enough. Just get some basic. I hear you, creeper. See, now I'm out of. I should have made. I should have made more of those. I'm gonna pick that up in case in case the hole filler gets me. Give me another one of those clay ball things because they are cool. Aren't they cool? I love I love this. There's other ways, and there's other ones too. There's like there's like this that will apparently let you choose what block, but then you need uh, the resources in your inventory. The nice thing about hole filler for dirt, like the basic one, is it doesn't actually use up any dirt. It's 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 free dirt, which I think I think that's fine, right? Zoop. Hello. That is super spiffy. All right, it, it's a curing block, and then like a few seconds later, it turns into the actual dirt block. Did I go too far on that side? I may have. Yeah, so a few seconds later, it turns into like the real dirt block. Cool. Okay, and... What else do we got by way of of food here? And I'll do the 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 tilling lines thing because somebody told me once that makes a difference, and I believe them. I don't know if it does, but we'll find out. I don't think we want these guys, but I'll try out these. I don't have any. Oh, they don't plant here. Okay, this soul. This soul doesn't sound edible, does it? No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Okay, so you guys go away. All this stuff goes away. Brewer's yeast. Diana's yeast. And then uh, mob drops. And modded stuffs. So let's get a laser going, can we? Can we get a laser? Can we get a gadget? Now, these three gadgets are just decorative differences. So, like, it can either look like this, this, or this. I kind of like, I like this one. And now, it doesn't cost much more to do that, so we're going to do that one. Cool. So we're gonna get this guy, and then we're gonna get this guy, sweet. And that is super good times, right? Uh, now we're also going to need a uh, charging uh, station, right? And we're also going to need uh, the modification table so we can add upgrades to our gadget. But the charging station is how we will charge our gadget. Now in order to get a charging station, we're gonna need a block of coal, which I don't quite have enough resources for just yet, but hopefully it won't be too hard to find. Now, one thing that's cool is you can look up coal blocks and JEI here, and you can see where they're commonest. So like the best place would probably be around 97, 98. So we're already below that, so we should just kind of dig wherever and we'll find it. And hopefully I can find some coal relatively quickly before I run out of diamond. Nope. No, I did not. <laughs> All right. Let me go find some coal real quick and we'll be right back. Cool. Yeah, there was probably going to be some around here somewhere. All right. So I couldn't resist mining a bunch more resources while I was down there. Uh, not a surprise, really. But we'll get just a few of you smelting up, which should be good. Uh, and then I'm going to I'm not going to smelt anything else right now because I'm being a little conservative uh, with my coal and whatnot. But at this point, I should be good to make a charging station. Should be good. Awesome. Uh, and then I do want a modification station if I can. That's going to require a couple diamonds, which I don't love having to spend right now, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, only because it'll let me modify my uh, laser. Cool. So by default, um, we throw some coal in there, we build up some energy, and then we can store that energy inside the laser, and we can use the energy in the laser to do our mining now. Um, by default, this thing works very similar to like a diamond pickaxe in terms of the speed. Uh, and the functionality, uh, except it looks cooler, my opinion, mostly because I, I made it look cool. Yeah. I didn't make the item that this, this is not me at all. No, this was not me. I am not, I am not that cool, but I did this bit. Um, and you can edit like all the visuals. I always like to have uh, like, let's see, RGB like that. I like that kind of laser color. 
Yeah, that looks neat to me. Now, if we want to expand and make this cooler, which we do, uh, and I'm gonna, uh, we want to add uh, some add-ons to it. So the first ones I'm gonna do is probably looting. So if we look at mining gadgets, we can probably at the very least maybe get tier three looting at this point. That would be cool. Um, let's see if we can let's see if we can pull that off. So you, so Fortune One is gonna need two blocks of iron, which I'm getting a little bit more iron for. And then eventually we're gonna need two blocks of gold. And we're gonna need lots of lapis. Didn't I have more lapis than this? I do. Good, because we're gonna need a lot of it. We may not have quite enough lapis, but we'll we'll get enough to get her going, right? We'll get enough to get at least a little bit going. Sweet. We can at least get. If I got a little bit more lapis, I could get a, a, a fortune tier two. Now that also makes the gadget cost more power to mine, but you know it's going to be worth it. So what I'm going to do is between episodes, I'm going to go mining with this gadget. Um, I might make myself another hammer because we don't quite have the resources to make the three by three miner yet. We need more diamonds. Uh, that's why I was after ender pearls, by the way. But in total for a three by three mining upgrade, we need nine plus two plus three diamonds. We need a lot of diamonds. So I'm gonna go mining with a diamond hammer, but anything like lapis or, or other ores that I find, I will make sure to break with the mining gadget so that fortune applies. And then uh, that would be cool. And I'll probably bring my uh my stuff with me to make sure that we get some good times right that should be good so i'm going to organize my inventory here i'll bring this modification table with me well now first i'm gonna first i'm gonna make my fortune upgrade right so tier one fortune upgrade and then we can stick that in there like that and now when we look at this we have a fortune upgrade which we can turn on and off and when it's on uh it will apply fortune when we mine stuff so that'll be cool. So I'm going to go mining. I am going to bring my modification table. I should also probably bring my charging station because I suspect that I'm going to want both, right? I'm going to get myself a little bit more lapis so that I can get the upgrade to uh, mining laser uh, fortune two. And then when we come back next episode, hopefully I'll have enough resources to get some really cool mining laser upgrades. Then uh, we'll also have some nice resources available and I can get into uh, getting a house and a base set up, and then we'll get into some cool tech stuff and some magic stuff. So clearly a lot to do in this pack because we're only on episode two. But hope you guys enjoyed it. For now, Level 20 signing off. You know what to do. Take it easy.